And what is up, everybody? Yes, we are here in Skybound. Um, what are we doing here? Well, I'll tell you because, yes, if you've watched the channel before, I have dealt with corruption after corruption after corruption, and the last update is no exception. Yes, I have fell to the corruption that has devastated half of players on Xbox. Yeah, all my stuff is gone. Well, all, all of it was gone. I did find a video that helped me out, and I got my skin pack and my um, texture packs offline back. So, there's that. I did not get to recover my world, but, yes, in Skybound, they use vanilla textures, except for when they, they make their own textures for special items. But, Yes, they keep the vanilla textures, and yes, I got my texture pack on. As you can see, the new updated improved textures are out. So yeah, go download that. It will be down in the description of every video that I have. And, well, once it gets... Well, it's not quite out yet, but when it comes out, I will do a full dive into the whole texture pack. With all that said, you know how it is. Um, we are going to set this to one. We are not going to keep inventory. We are going to do hard and we are going to keep coordinates on. And with all that done, we are going to go in here. And yes, as you well know, there is a barrel right there. We will collect the coins from there. And then I will be going with a, well, is this, what color is this? It looks light blue well we'll go with light blue this time i'll go with light blue and then we'll open the retextured iron door yes nice uh, when we're not admiring it and then we'll go here now i got a tree and we do have a chest down here but i'm going to dig all this out and we i will see y'all back here when i'm more ready to show stuff off because I'm not doing a guide series, I'm more doing a let's play. The quest, I'm not really worried that much about. I'm more into let's plays anyway, so we're going to do a let's play, and I will see y'all when I'm more ready to show off the island, maybe ready to turn in a few quests, but either way, I will see y'all on the flip side. up everybody yes as you see i have started on the little cave you should have seen the first person time lapse thing going on yeah that was me making progress and i did not want to come over here well the first time around and kind of like do yeah i didn't want to do the collect the quest off camera because you might not know where your quest book is um my suggestion is quickly get some trees grown get some fences around this and there will be a teleporter that pops up get a fence around that just in case you put a bucket of water over here these guys can slide off the edge so encase them in the fence and put a gate where you can access it and try to get a little roof above it because I hear 
lightning might strike these and delete them. No, I, I'm. You know what I mean when I say delete when I, when I'm talking about mobs. I mean they will actually delete these little things right here. It's technically an entity, and yeah, I, I'm. I'm not quite sure on the details. I just know get a fence and a roof above these guys as quickly as possible. But with all that said. As you see, I have made some progress. I got to get the rest of this filled out and then we will come back and I will do another update. First, we I want to get this I well, talking about future plans. I want to get this island in. The first couple of islands will be kind of farmlandish. There might be one or two factory islands. I'm not quite sure yet. We will talk about that when I get further progress. But with all that said guys, I'm going to go make some progress and then I'll come back for one more update and that will be the end of the episode. And what is up everybody? Yes, as you see, um, we have a tree growing in front of us. But as you see, um, we have the teleporter. I am not going to put down my fences just yet. I am not to the point where I would like to do that. But what I am going to do is we're going to go into the town. I got my coins on me. Yeah, we can go back to the quest book. Um, we, I, I'll actually do that real quick and then we'll talk a little bit about the town. Um, there are some keys. Well, there's some stuff hidden around. Um, these keys I usually like to save up, especially later on in the game when I got access to the fishing spots. But you can pop that key into this loot chest and it will give you some, ooh, I got some crushed diamond ore this time. So yeah, we can get that and yeah, we can make some diamonds. If you, but we can go around here, we can um, go to certain people if they actually come up to get us. And we can trade with them. Um, madam, I am here. Um, hello, madam. Please, yes, please come to. Ah. Oh, now you're going to come to us. Miners will. We can trade stuff like this to the miners to get coins. And if we come over here, which is the main thing I wanted to talk about. We actually get chickens. We can actually, um, I don't want to buy the chicken net, but we can get chickens. And yeah, well, that's a good source of resources. Um, if we come over here to the loom person, Shepherd, we can actually trade some of these for, yeah. And now I'm going to go back, make my bed. I am going to go make some progress off of camera. Hopefully I can get some chickens up and by the next episode we will talk more about the chicken system and how that's going to play a key role in our progress so i will catch y'all in the next episode